Oh, here you go, Ingwe. How with the, uh, the Raptor glider? Um, yeah, just putting a, a new motor in it. We've got the uh, Tuning Gear AeroDrive uh, 2217, 1050 kV motor. So yeah, we basically want to put that into the the Raptor to replace the, the motor that fell off the mount. Um, it's a bit of a tight fit. The the Raptor fuselage is is pretty it's pretty narrow. Um, the main difference is that this motor doesn't have the bell mount, so the the wiring is a bit closer to the to the front. So, so what I'm going to do is just um, add an additional reinforcement. The, the Raptor actually comes with a spare. Um, what I've basically just done is just file down the edges uh, because I've glued it on the inside as well. Um, yeah, then I'll just mount that as an additional adapter. Um, what I'm also going to use is the, um, the reinforcing mount that they supply, but um, because it's uh, too too wide. Um, what I'm going to do is basically just uh, cut it down uh, to fit inside the um, the disc there. So basically, just uh, cut it um, outside the, the mounting holes. So then, hopefully, that should uh, be able to put it in. So I'll just use um, um, M3 by 10 uh, countersunk screws to go into there, and then they just mount into the um, asymmetric mounting pattern. Um, the the Raptor engine mount does actually come with that asymmetric pattern, uh, which is which is handy. So yeah, just going to trim the edges of that, glue that um, onto the existing uh, firewall, and then we should be ready to put the motor in. All right, so we're going to glue this in, um, and we've got the um, the motor mount reinforcement that I've just uh, cut down. Just putting some glue on the the motor mount. And we'll just slide it in. I've just uh, soldered on the uh, the bullet plugs that are provided with it. Um, it actually comes with a full set of bullet plugs, so if your ESC doesn't have the plugs, um, they supply as well. But in this case, we only need the other half because the uh, the H King uh, ESC already comes uh, with them fitted. So we'll just pop that in there. Um, we'll just put on the reinforcing ring. You you could probably just put this on with uh, I don't know, cap screws and um, or pan head screws and and washer, but I'm just going to use this reinforcing ring because uh, we've got it. Alright, so you, there you go, so there's the uh, 2217 installed in there. I've just run the, um, the motor cables under the, uh, the battery tray and connected it up to the ESC. Um, the only problem that I had with this is that there wasn't a hell of a lot of stick out um, of the, the motor shaft, uh, but I, I've managed to get enough just to, um, well, enough to engage the uh, the spinner. Um, so we'll try that out. Hopefully that stays on. Um, if uh, it's a bit short then we might need to just look at um, trying to extend that or maybe getting a longer shaft but uh, we'll see how it goes.